welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd share with you five healthy habits that you can do every day and these are aimed at just making sure that you make the most of every day and get the best out of the day as possible and just really start the day in the right way and with the best positive mindset that you can. So I really hope you enjoy this video as I love watching healthy habits videos so I do hope you like this one and let's get straight into the healthy habits. So healthy habit number one is to wake up at a consistent time every day. Honestly, this can make getting up so much easier, particularly if you have work or uni or school and you have to get up early every single day. If you get up and go to sleep at the same time every day, your body clock does slowly adjust. And if you're not typically a morning person and you're more of a night person but have loads of early hours that you have to be up at, then you can even just adjust this by waking up slightly earlier every day, particularly during the holidays or when you've got time off or at weekends even, just work on waking up five, ten minutes earlier every day and that way you can work towards your target of the time you want to be up at and then ensure that you wake up at that time every day and go to sleep around the same kind of time as well and that way your body clock really does adjust and it makes it so much easier to get up and go to sleep at the times that you need to and want to. So it definitely is a good habit to keep up and it also just makes you feel so much more refreshed when you wake up as you get the right amount of sleep that your body needs. Healthy habit number two is to encourage you to get up early every day or to get out of bed and not hit that snooze button and go back to sleep is to make sure you have something to look forward to when you get up. So whether that is something tasty for breakfast, a coffee, whatever you may have as part of your morning routine, make there something that's in there for you and something that you really enjoy. For me, I'm honestly such a breakfast person. I absolutely love breakfast. So I always love trying to create different breakfasts every day and create loads of different flavors and things. And that always makes me really excited to get up because I know I'm gonna have a breakfast that I'm really gonna like and that's gonna taste amazing. So just find something that you can have every morning. It could be something so simple simple but just get that one little thing that you can have every morning which will really just help encourage you to get up but even just having something planned that's exciting later during the day just thinking about that might get you up might get you motivated and feeling good for the rest of the day healthy habit number three is to actually get up at a time that you have time for yourself so this could be anything from 15 minutes to half an hour or even an hour if you really can get up that extra bit early but any kind of decent amount of time from 15 minutes I would say just to have time to yourself away from social media away from your work emails just away from all the other life stresses that go on throughout the day and just really cherish that moment in the morning where you can get up get your nice breakfast just take time to yourself feel nice and relaxed and at ease and not have to rush getting ready to get off to work and school and honestly how you start your day really sets the tone for the rest of the day so it is such a great idea just to really take your time in the morning and have that time to yourself whether that's even just taking time over your breakfast having an extra coffee to what you normally would or even just reading a book or something else that is just away from the internet social media and any kind of work emails because it's so important to just really take a minute to relax because also it's so easy to get caught up during the day when you've got work going on and just get caught up in everything that you need to do that by just having that first 15 minutes half an hour whatever it may be very first thing in the morning it can just help the rest of the day seem so much calmer and you know that you've had some time to yourself as well which is always nice to know healthy habit number four is to after you've had your time for yourself then to move on to looking at your to-do list for that day and prioritizing what needs to get done for that day and on your to-do list you could have things that need to be done that day and then things that you'd like to get done but not necessarily important to be done on that exact day so just prioritize your day that way it ensures that it's productive it ensures that you get done what you need to get done plus then a bonus extra you might get done some extra stuff that you didn't need to get done on that day but you've been meaning to get done for a while and you can take that off your list as well and I also think by having a physical to-do list it just makes it so much easier to get everything done you can see it laid out there you'll probably have a rough idea of how long each 
thing will take that way you can pace out your day properly as well and then also create a time a consistent time every day where you have your cutoff point and stop working and take time away from work just to properly unwind and relax ready into the evening before getting to bed as that way you'll honestly sleep so much better you feel like you'll have had a really productive day and you'll also have had time to fully relax and unwind before actually getting to sleep which actually leads me on to my fifth habit which is ensure that after having had that consistent cutting off point from work you do properly wind down and you don't just go straight from work to sleep make that cut off point a good two three hours before you're planning on going to bed so you've got time to make yourself a nice dinner get changed have a shower get your nice comfy pajamas on wash your face wash your makeup off whatever it is that you normally have for your night routine and also do something that you find relaxing whether that's reading a book or even doing some kind of meditation or yoga whatever it may be find something that just really calms you down and helps to put you in that sleepy mood as it will ensure that you'll get the best night's sleep and that way again you'll wake up feeling really refreshed and the next day you'll be ready once again to have have a full-on productive day. So those are my five healthy habits that I feel like you can incorporate into your everyday life just to ensure it's as positive and productive as possible. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash a big thumbs up on it if you did, as well as clicking on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. I'd love it if you could do that. It's only one week to go until my birthday, so let's see how close we can get to 1k by then. I mean, it's a bit ambitious, but Let's see just how far we can get to 1k before my birthday next week. Also don't forget to tap on that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload. And also let me know if you like this style of video and healthy habit and positive routine kind of style videos. I'll definitely love to do more of these kind of videos because I love watching them and I love filming them as well. So definitely let me know what you think and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!